Hello and welcome back to our coverage of the Origins Game Fair 2017. I'm Eric Summerer here with Stephanie from First Fish Games. Uh, and this is Get Off My Land. Yeah. It's a very <laughs> evocative title. Uh, yeah. what, what, what are we doing? Other than getting uh, off each other's land. <laughs> so you're rival farmers, and okay. you're trying to clear land and plant crops and livestock to uh, build income. Yeah. And uh, the farmer who gets the most money is the winner. So um, you can take each other's land. You can, you know, move your farmer around to borrow stuff. <laughs> to your... borrow things. Yeah, okay. Exactly. <laughs> so are we starting out? Uh, is this the initial setup? Yes. This for is a two-player two game. game. Yeah. Uh, with four, does the board get bigger? Yes. Yes. Uh, and then you would start at like different corners yes, or something. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and some of the areas are forested and some are uh, knocked down, deforested, yeah. yes. and some are fenced in. Yes. Okay. So yes. what are we doing? So the reason we set it up this way is so that on your very first turn you will have the option to do every action available. Okay. Yeah. So we found that when we didn't have it set up this way, everyone was just doing the same exact things every turn. You, you would sort of ramp up to open up your options. Yeah. yeah. So, this so you kind of wasted the first or second turn, so right. we just, just kind of right did it for it. you. Then you now have every option uh, on this little action card, um, so you can choose. Okay, what so are those options? What are we doing? So you can uh, log, which would be flipping one of these tiles to reveal the other side. Uh, whenever oh. you flip a tile, you draw fence cards. Okay. Um, and there's stuff on the other side of it. Yes, them. every tile is going to have something on it. Okay. Um, that will either give you more income, more cards, just extra cash, or yeah, just. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you can, uh, once you get your cards, um, I'm not sure if you can see it. We, we can see a little bit. So, um, what, what do the cards do? There's act an action section and a fence section. So if you wanted to play the card for fences, you would just discard it and then take your three fences and place around a tile. So it's either an action or a certain number of fences. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, if you wanted to do the action, most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Um, so that's what, that's this, your it. second option is to yes. play a fence card. Yeah. Okay. Um, the third option would be to go to market. So on this market track here, um, there's a corresponding price for each card. So say I wanted to buy these pigs, I would pay the $2 yep. and I would get the pigs, but they would come in face down because you buy baby pigs, they need to grow. Okay. So I would place them face down. And then on the turn track over here, uh, every month is a turn, yep. is a round. And once we pass these icons here, this icon row, yep. anything with that icon is going to grow up. <laughs> okay. Pigs are meat. Yes. And so they would grow up. So they would grow up. And now uh, st every turn. Uh, the top number is income, which you get every turn. Okay. And then the bottom number has to do with the last action you can do is harvest. So you would flip it, get the $10, and then you have to wait for it to grow up again. Okay. So some cards have an ongoing income and then a harvest. So you can kind of decide if you want to keep going with the income or you need cash now. Right. You flip it and okay. get the money right away. But the um, stuff that has an income doesn't require an action. Yes, it's every turn. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So once you get closer to your your friends here. Yes. Then they <laughs> yell, "Get off my land!" Right. You can play a fence card. Let's just use one of these. Let's say I play that fence card, and I'm gonna want to take over your land over here. I'm gonna go in and move a fence. Oh. To try and take this over. Okay. Now on these cards you'll see that there are bullet holes oh. at the top. And you need to play a total of three bullet holes to defend an attack. So right now, you're going to go over. Okay. So you're going to have to discard these two cards and you're going to say, get off, get my, off land, my land and you kick me off. So I would take my fences back and you have now defended. Yeah, and but your opponent just spent all those resources. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. So it is a tough choice because you're, you know, you're spending the cards you really want to use in order to defend. So you kind of have to decide whether it's worth it or not. Okay. And yep. can you only deforest uh, areas that are that you own? Do you have to fence you, it first? If it's open, you can do it. If it's fenced, the other pillars cannot uh, log You've your. You've protected it. Yes. Okay. And we play the full year. Correct. Yeah. So you'll go through every month, and there's this little frost symbol here. That means all crops will die. Oh. Any crop, uh, so it has a little sprout symbol. Mm -hmm. 
anything on the board is going to get discarded, removed from the game. Gotcha. It's winter. Yep, of course. <laughs> it's, it's true to life. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, it's very thematic. We made it as thematic as possible. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, age range for this? Um, I would say, like, it, the game says 14 plus, so in order to really understand all the combos and mechanics, I would say 14 plus. But okay. we've had younger kids play it too. All right. They just don't have as much like full strategy as someone older. Okay. And how soon do we get to see this? Uh, we just sent off files to the manufacturer, so we're hoping to ship um, by uh, November. Okay. So yeah. Um, end of the year, hoping. hoping. Fingers crossed. Yeah, end of the exactly. year. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So. Files are sent. It's out of our hands now. <laughs> All right. So if somebody is watching the stream and wants to find out more information, where do they go to learn about First Fish and get off my land? Uh, our website is firstfishgames.com. Um, there should be a link to our pre-order page. Uh, okay. You can go and pre-order right now. Um, and yeah, all the information should be on our website. Excellent. Yeah. Stephanie, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, it's get off my land. Uh, this is your first game for yes, first, very first game. Yes, yeah. the first. It's the first first fish yes, game. <laughs> exactly. Okay. okay, cool. So uh, let's see. Not a, not a lot of hard hitting stuff. You're good. <laughs> and the internet wanted me to make sure that I told you you did a really good job up there. Okay, thank you. So don't be nervous. You've got this. Okay. So um, was this game on Kickstarter? It was. It already uh, that already yeah. happened. Okay. Yeah. When is it going to be available? Um, so we're hoping to ship uh, from our fulfillment centers in November. Um, so. Hopefully soon after that it'll be in stores. Uh, okay, cool. We're still working out distribution and all that, so... Okay, sounds yeah. good. Player count? Uh, two to four. Two to four players. MSRP? Uh, 65... Uh, Canadian. 65... Canadian. Canadian, yeah. right. So I don't That's know right, the conversion right now. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I don't know, but okay, no yeah. problem. Uh, play time? It's about 15 minutes per player. So at most an hour if it's four players, that's yeah. about right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, do you guys have a booth here at Origins? We do not. Uh, okay. Not this year, hopefully next year. <laughs> Sounds good. And then finally, what's next for the company? What do you What do you guys see on the horizon for uh, First Fish? Definitely more games. Uh, <laughs> that's good. I'm glad you're not getting into like making sodas and stuff. That's good. <laughs> more yeah, games. Um, yeah, we have a few on the design list, um, but we've been, just been so busy handling Kickstarter and manufacturing and all that, yeah, yeah. so we kind of got backlogged a bit, so hopefully. Is the design from someone that that works for it on the publishing side as well? Oh uh, yeah, we're three people, and yeah. we all... You guys have all made it and you're publishing. Design, yes. So you yourselves are working on possibly like a second yes. something to put out? Yeah. Yes. Okay, pretty cool. Yeah. All right, sounds good. I think that's it. Um, someone is saying it's about 49 US. Okay. Sure. <laughs> yes, forty-nine dollars and fifteen cents. <laughs> all right, cool, Stephanie. I think that's all I've got for you. Awesome. Um, thanks for stopping by and showing it off. Looks cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. All righty. Have a good one. See ya. Thank good you. to meet you.